Good morning, everybody. This one might take the cake here in Nebraska. I actually needed something like this, and uh, well, we're here at Skeeter Park, free RV camping for four days in Nebraska, here in, in Aurora, Nebraska. Take a look at this, guys. There are 11 free campsites here with hookups. For, for travelers, for campers. They offer a dump station on the way in or out. They have a big dumpster right there. Uh, I am at the first uh, site right here. Look at this, guys. Water, I, I know the handle's red, but it does say that these are all tested and approved uh, drinking water, potable drinking water. So that goes around the other side of my RV. And as you can see on the other side of my RV, there's three slots open. But I mean, look at this, 30 amp. Free hookups. 11 free RV hookup campsites for four days. If you've been following me for a couple years now, this is the third time in my travels that I have found something like this. Uh, Hereford, Texas at the Aquatic Center. Same thing, full hookups for I think two or three nights. And then uh, that another aquatic center in uh, Lamar, Missouri. Same exact thing here. What another aquatic center here in Aurora. Uh, although they don't think that uh, 87 degrees is warm enough to open it for the season. <laughs> it will be open this summer, but uh, I guess they're waiting for temperatures in the 90s. Because it's closed right now. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm amazed. I, I get it though. I mean, it gives campers and travelers a safe place to camp. Almost everybody's got a fifth wheel down there so they can take the truck into town and, and go put money back into the community around here, which uh, is exactly what I've already done. Took the bike out earlier and uh, went to eat, went to get some, some supplies down at the uh, Ace Hardware down there, working on a few projects in the RV while I got, you know, all the hookups and everything. I'm going to bleach the water tank out and slush that around and sanitize the water tank. So this is a great, great little stop. Like I said, I'm, I'm working on projects, plus I want to load the stuff up and, and go on the bike and tour a little more of the surrounding areas and show you what this place has to offer, either quirky or Lincoln Highway type stuff. But uh, I'm just amazed. I, I just love it here so much. Uh, behind my RV, there's a, a dirty creek back here that doesn't have a whole lot of water, but the frogs, isn't that great? You get to hear that all night long. It's awesome. They uh, accept donations here as well, so I guess they're they're e beggars. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is this is great. I wish more places like these, more cities in the country, did stuff like this. And, you know, I wouldn't even mind if they put something in there that says you can only stay here once a year. Like, I'd be okay with that. That way the locals can't abuse it or somebody else can't abuse it. Uh, yeah, you can stay here four days, once a year. I'd be totally okay with that. Uh, this, is a, this is a beautiful spot. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm not bragging or anything. I'm just saying if you're boondocking and coming through the middle of Nebraska, well, south, south middle of Nebraska, put Aurora the city of Aurora here on your list because uh, this is nice. It doesn't, doesn't cost me an extra $40 a night for a spot with hookups. I can just park, relax, and go do stuff. I got the AC unit on. As I've mentioned in the past, it will bring us down to 72 degrees and no cooler. <laughs> it's nice. It's helpful. It's really, Jax. It's a beautiful day and you're going to lay there on the dash. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside, Jax? Hello, my kitty cat. Do I have a cat named Jax? <laughs> Hello, Jax. You wanna go outside? Wow. You've been doing so good lately. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for being a good boy. It's really nice. He's still got his harness and uh, his leash, and 
I've got his green thing over there to uh, tie him to so that he's uh, safe out here, but he's just chilling. He's being a really good boy, not going off anywhere. Is this a new chapter of our lives where you listen and you're good? Well, cool, man. Exciting. All right, I have decided to leave the air conditioning on for Jax. We're going to go take the TW200 about 30 miles back west to go explore the town of Grand Island. Then we'll come back, check on Jax, and then we'll go about 25 miles west to... I'm not sure what town that is yet, but uh, I just want to explore, bring all the camera gear with me in case I find anything interesting to share with you guys. We'll go for a ride. Awesome! I believe this is some kind of a wrecking yard, but I love the almost Disney Pixar cars theme with all these neat cars up here. The Super Cop and the Coney Dog car, Hell on Wheels, Wild Rosie, the Purple People Eater. I mean, that's quite elaborate. There's a blue Smurf in there and a skeleton. <laughs> that's just. Nice art, guys. I like that. So it is a collision center. It's Fred's Auto Collision and Flying Circus with free viewing. Well, thank you for the free view. That's really cool. Wait a minute, that's Shrek. They might get a Disney claim on that one. I don't know if they're allowed to do that. I like it, though. It's really cool being able to just ride the bike around and stop wherever I feel like it. What a nice day. I mean, look how nice this park is. Ducks and geese and those babies. Yeah. Those geese have baby geese. Huh. It is a nice park here. The only bummer part about it is that if I bring the bike instead of the RV, I obviously don't have jacks with me. So, you know, he's 30 miles away in the RV. But I don't have any service there in Aurora, so I service here. That's kind of the that's kind of the kicker, you know. That's why I gotta be here to upload a video and then give back. Uh, otherwise, it's you know, it's also nice just to be able to come get a little farther away without wasting a bunch of gas on the RV. So nice views too. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, uh, I decided to wear jeans today, but I pretty much instantly regretted that just five miles down the road. It is hot, warm. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower real quick throw on some shorts, and then we'll go east towards York and go play. There we go, sporting the camper van Kevin don't run over me yellow green. Yeah, let's go fill up gas here in town. And it's going to be awesome because the bike gets like 100 miles per gallon. The RV gets about nine. Yeah. Okay, York, Nebraska. I'll bite. What the heck is this? We'll uh, stay on this side of the fence as that sign says, No trespass survivors will be prosecuted. Yes, because your yard art just looks so deadly here. Nice giraffe. A couple wandering uh, zebras there. Nice. Is that a uh, Simba and Pumbaa? Um, I'm sure most people just drive right past this, but I uh, figured I'd stop and take a look. It's different. I'll give you that. I like it. This is almost quirky. 
poor guy. Looks like uh, he ran out of gas. Yeah. And the green T-Rex of sorts over there as well. Okay. Cool. I like it. I don't know what it does, but uh, it makes you stop and scratch your head. That's always good. Hey, have I mentioned it's warm today, guys? I'm not complaining. I'm just, did I, did I mention that it's warm? Wasn't it just a month ago? It was five degrees. I was freezing my everything off. Didn't take long to change. Not at all. You know, some of these abandoned places are really fun to just ride through. Well, not just ride through, but stop and just listen and look. I'm here to close down a car wash place. And across the street, welcome to Bradshaw with a big mural that says memories of the past, God's promise for the future. But do you hear this town? It is, it just, it, it feels apocalyptic. Creepy, right? I love the bike. It's so much fun to go around and look at cool stuff. This isn't even that cool. It's just different. Anyway, I'm going to head back. I'm just riding around, you know, put on about 150 miles on the bike today. Still got to get back to Aurora, enjoy the air conditioning with Jax, and uh, tidy up a few things. We'll be heading out in the morning, so I'm going to get back to the RV now. How goes it, dude, Sif? You doing pretty good? All right, buddy. I missed you too, man. Sure did. You want to watch some TV together? All right. Sounds good, buddy. Awesome flavored sauce. Well, got the uh, freshwater tank uh, sanitized. Just uh, rode it around here a little bit, let it sloshed around, got that rinsed up, filled up, dumped the tanks in the morning, and we'd be back on Lincoln Highway. Couple big cities in Nebraska still to hit for the first time and enjoy. Uh, but this was a nice little break here. So thanks for watching, guys. Jackson, I'll see you on the road in a couple days. Bye bye.